Now, everybody who's watching, let's get RBT to 500,000 subscribers by Christmas. He's the best Madden scientist there is. I subscribe to him, and if you don't subscribe to, your favorite team is gonna lose to the I'm not saying that team. So not only am I the biggest Madden scientist out there, now I call myself a Madden miracle worker. As today, my dudes, as you've seen on the channel, we've had plenty of videos where we've used the college football mod on Madden 20 where you can do like a franchise mode with college teams. You can play with college rosters, college uniforms, college stadiums. But unfortunately, for the most part, it's all on PC because like the consoles, they can't be modded. It's just, it's just how it works. Like that's why everybody was so excited when Madden was released on the PC because they knew mods were going to be available. And it's basically like playing... A, uh, like a, what do you even call it? Like a Walmart version of Instant Delay Football. It's still fun, but unfortunately a lot of you guys, you don't own a PC, so you can't actually play as college teams in Madden. And that is till today, my dudes, because I am the number one Madden scientist and I invent miracles around here. Actually, <laughs> I, I didn't invent anything. It's just, I just tried something out and it worked. And as you see, I'm holding a PS4 controller. And unfortunately, it only works on the PS4. It, it doesn't work on the Xbox One Y, I don't know. You can ask the people that are smarter than me. But let me show you what you do to play as college teams on your PS4. But hopefully, guys, do enjoy today's scientific video. And if you do, make sure to smash that like button and make sure to subscribe if you are new. It's very important that you do subscribe because we do hit 500,000 subscribers by Christmas. My Christmas giveaway, it's already mental, but it's going to be even more mental. As of right now, we're giving away three Xbox One Xs and three PS4 Pros. Well, if we hit 500K by Christmas, which is extremely possible, it'll be turned into four Xbox One Xs and four PS4 Pros. A total of like $5,000 given away to you guys if you and only if we do hit 500k by Christmas. So if you haven't taken that millisecond it takes to click that subscribe button, make sure to do so. And also, this video is being uploaded on Saturday night. Tomorrow marks December 1st. It marks the beginning of 25 days of Christmas on this channel. I already have two videos scheduled to upload on Sunday. They have PS4 codes, Xbox codes, Amazon codes, and every single video I do upload up until Christmas will contain codes. And all you have to do to win those codes is to have notifications on and be one of the first to watch those videos so you can take part in that giveaway and win yourself some free Xbox, PS4, or Amazon coats. With that said, time to get into today's video. Now, first bit of business, like I said, it's only on the PS4, and it's not on the Xbox One. Now, other thing is that this mod on the PS4 is not even remotely as close as in-depth as it is on PC, but at least it's something that you guys can play on PS4 if you don't have a PC. Now, what we are gonna do, show you how to do this at the end of today's video, then we're gonna jump onto the PC and show you all the updates you did to that mod. It's even crazier now. But once again, if you wanna know how to download and use the mod on PC, I will leave a link to those videos in the description box below. But this is really just kind of showing you guys that it is sort of available on PS4. And it's extremely simple. And it's crazy that not this many people know about it. Now, literally, it's only a few steps. It took me a few tries. But literally, all you have to do, my dudes, is go on the main screen of Madden, the settings tab, which, oh, God, my, my camera's in the way. Wait, wait, you see this? You see the tab? That's the tab I'm on. You go to that tab. You simply click on it and go to share and manage files. Go to download community files, and if you go over to the roster tab whenever it does load, sometimes this roster share is down because the EA servers suck, and if they are down, literally all you have to do is close out of Madden and jump back in, and if it doesn't work, then it's probably just a server error, and you probably try back in a few hours. But once you get to the community files, go over to roster. Go over to the roster set, and literally the top roster, I think it's the third top roster, as you see the servers are so bad, it's taking so long to load right now. Literally, the top roster, CFBM19 Lite. So this was the light version of the mod, and somehow they were able to do it on PS4. So what you do here is simply download the file, but the problem is, sometimes it doesn't work on the first or second try. It'll eventually work, and if it's not working on your console, literally, just download the roster, and if it doesn't work that time, go back and re-download it, and click overwrite my file, and download the file onto your PS4. And the reason I'm making this video is because so many people want to play the mod, because there's no college football game out there, but they don't have a PC, and a lot of you play PS4 over Xbox. Why is there not a mod available on Xbox? I, I really don't know. Like I said, I, I'm not the smart person that made the mod, just the man 
spreading the message because I like science. And after that, after you download the mod, all you have to do is go into your files and go to roster and just load the CFB M19 Lite file or whatever you ended up downloading it as. And like I said, if it doesn't work in the first try, try it again and keep downloading it and repeating this process until it does work. But if it does work, what you will do is after it loads, go into like an exhibition or whatever, like you're just going to play a play now game of Madden. And as you see, once you go into custom game, there you go. Clemson. Oklahoma now unfortunately this is last year's rosters because this was like the first thing that did get released for the mod I think it was released back in August so it was last year's rosters but as you see at Kyler Murray Marquise Brown on Clemson you have Travis Etienne Trayvon Mullen Christian Wilkins the thing is there's not as many teams available in this mod as it is on the PC but it's better than nothing for you guys that do only have PS4 no PC once again here's Oregon have guys like Troy Dye, Thomas Graham. And once again, it's last year's rosters. You also have Texas, same Ellinger at the quarterback position. Next, you have USC, Porter Gustin, Cameron Smith, Marvell Tell, on Clemson once again. Florida Gators, you have Mr. Polite Jr., Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, Jabari Zuniga, on Florida State, Brian Burns, Levante Taylor, Demarcus Christmas, on LSU, Grady Williams, Devin White, Grant Delpit. Once again, last year's rosters from college football. Miami Hurricanes, and back to the Oklahoma Sooners. So if you guys probably have noticed by now, these are the teams that are available in face of the franchise, but unless you download this roster, download this mod, there's no way you can play as these teams just in a simple play now. So that's really all you have in terms of the college football mod on PS4, but nobody really knew about this. And it's just so freaking simple to download the rosters just like that. And once again, it didn't even work for the first try for me. It took, I think, two or three times to download the roster and reload it, and eventually, bam, it works. You do have, I think, this eight college football teams you can choose from to play on Madden 20. So that is how you play with college football teams on Madden 20. Once again, this is actually, okay, this is cool. So apparently, all the teams are there, but you can't play as all of them. So all the rosters are there. It's like Houston, Iowa, you have LSU, obviously, Miami, you have Michigan, but I'm guessing they couldn't get all the teams that they do have on the PC mod into a playable version on console, but the rosters are still there, but it says like Michigan, but it's still the Dolphins, but like you get what I'm saying, that's why apparently you can't actually play as those teams. Michigan State's there, but I mean at this point you still can like go ahead and look at the rosters, what they would be like if those teams were on this mod. So it's just a way for you guys to play with college ball teams on Madden, a lot of you probably didn't know. With that said, we're gonna swap over to the PC mod and show you the teams that they added to that and just pretty much just show you all the updates because there's a ton of updates to the college football mod. I'm telling you dudes, today's video has got me feeling like freaking Xerxes as we're back on the PC mod. And as you probably already noticed, if you're like new to these videos, the PC mod, you actually have your own custom like background and on the console version, you don't have that because I guess they didn't have the capabilities to do that. But like in this mod, like the loading screen has Tua, Joe Burrow, you have Trevor Lawrence, and it's just, it's so much better on the PC. There's Jalen Hurts right there. As you can see in just a second, we'll show you guys the Superstar X Factor abilities. But the teams that they have, I think there's up to 40 college teams now that are in this mod. And just in case you've never seen these college mod videos, here are the teams that are available. You have Texas A&M, Texas Tech, which I do think is a new team. UCF, you have UCLA, USC Trojans, you have Utah, and also a really cool thing, is every time the college football playoff rankings are updated in real life, they immediately come out with the update and you get the most up-to-date real-life college football rankings. Like Utah is now number seven, Alabama is down to number five, LSU is now two, Ohio State one as you'll see in just a second. Washington's in here. Washington State's also one of the new teams they did add. West Virginia's added. You have Wisconsin, you have Alabama, you have Auburn, Baylor, Boise State, and you can play in the blue field, which is sick. You have Clemson, you have Florida. Once again, guys, we want to know how to download this. If you do have a PC, I will leave a link to those videos in the description box below. Florida State, number four, Georgia, number 23, Iowa State. I think they are a new team as well. You have Kansas with less miles, Kentucky, LSU, like I said, are now number two in real life. Miami Hurricanes, Michigan Wolverines, Michigan State, Minnesota, which is also a new team as well. They had to add Minnesota in with how good they've been doing in real life. You have Nebraska, you have Northwestern, Notre Dame, Ohio State, like I said, they're number one now, Oklahoma. Ole Miss, Oregon, Penn State, Stanford, Tennessee, Texas, Texas a and we're back to where we started. So, so many more teams you can choose from. Now, the thing is, the franchise mode on the mind doesn't really work right. I mean, you can play with a team, but it's not made for franchise. Although, I think they are trying to make it happen. I think there is a way 
you can do it, but you have to be extremely smart to be able to make it work. And, and I'm not smart, so maybe eventually I'll figure it out and maybe bring us many little franchise series or dynasty series on the channel. But in case you're wondering as well, like some of the ratings here to a best quarterback in the game at 95, which I think at this point Joe Burrow probably should be up there, but I'm not the one making the mods. As you see, to a 95 rated. Jonathan Taylor, highest rated running back at a 94, right behind him at a 92. Wide receiver Jerry Judy, best in all college football, 93 overall. Justin Ross, 92. CeeDee Lamb, 90. T. Higgins, 80. As we'll scroll through some of the rest of the ratings, I don't think, oh, Calvin Throckmorton, what a guy. I don't think they actually have updated the players individually overall wise. They just kind of work more on the teams and adding teams for the updates. And there's also been some uniform glitches, but they got the uniforms right. So it's all the college football teams in their actual uniforms in their home stadium, which is sick. It's, it's so freaking sick. The best two players in this mod, 95 rated Grant Delpit and Tua Tonga Vailoa with Jonathan Taylor and Chase Young right behind them. I think actually, let me know in the comment section below who do you think should be the highest rated player in this mod. I think it should be Chase Young. I think Chase Young probably it should be like a 96 but guys that does it just a short little video today showing you that you can play with the college football teams on the console on ps4 once again i know i'm a madden scientist you don't gotta tell me twice